Many elements, such as climate, politics, or proximity to extended family, are subjective when determining where to establish permanent roots. Nearly everyone would also appreciate having access to inexpensive housing, well-paying jobs, a reasonable cost of living, high-quality schools, and healthcare. So here are the best places to live in the United States. Number 1. Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, once a peaceful farming community, rose to prominence during the 1960s space race and is currently one of Alabama's fastest-growing metro regions. Thanks to NASA and the U.S. Army's Redstone Arsenal, the metro area has the most highly educated population in the state, and a sizable portion of the workforce is employed in engineering and defense. The city core of Huntsville has recently experienced a revival. There are more alternatives for apartments, dining, and shopping, thanks to the downtown construction boom. West of the city center, a shuttered cotton mill has been transformed into a thriving arts district and a refurbished middle school is now home to artisan brewers, eateries, and an axe-throwing arena. Huntsville residents typically spend less to live here than those who live in other major U.S. metro regions, despite the fact that the cost of living there is greater than the state average. Number 2. Colorado Springs, Colorado, a city that combines vibrant nature with untamed history and urban luxuries. Its components are distinct. The north and east's thriving suburbs, the downtown's bustle and navigability, the south's exquisite, rustic character, as typified by Cheyenne Cannon and the century-old Broadmoor Hotel, and the West's presence of restaurants and shops. Despite the sprawl, people frequently pause to greet a familiar face at their local grocery store or brewery. Colorado Springs housing costs are higher than the national average, and are still rising. One of the counties in the state with the quickest growth rates is El Paso, whose county seat is Colorado Springs. A competitive housing market has emerged for those looking to purchase a home as a result of population expansion and a shortage of available properties. However, Colorado has among of the lowest property taxes in the country. Number 3. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay is the ideal blend of amenities found in large cities with a small-town atmosphere typical of the Midwest. This community has two college campuses a revitalized downtown, and a flourishing entertainment and cultural scene, which may appeal to both young families and retirees. The oldest town in Wisconsin is Green Bay, which is situated in the state's northeast. The core of the city sits near the mouth of the Fox River, and because of its proximity to the Great Lakes, early inhabitants were able to use the region's waterways to launch prosperous businesses. While the city is still a significant shipping hub, the Fox River comes alive in the summer with water skiing, riverfront cafes, and sunset cruises. The Selcom Green Bay Marathon includes a significant portion of the woodland walking and bicycling track, known as the Fox River State Trail, that runs parallel to the river. In the city and its environs, you may discover upscale shopping and a ton of museums, antique, home decor, and fashionable clothing stores can be found in downtown Green Bay, the Broadway District, downtown De Pier, and Vickery Village, which is located just north of Green Bay. Number 4. Boulder, Colorado. At the top of a hill on U.S. Route 36 from Denver, this city displays its spectacle, with its recognizable sandstone slabs rising from the mountains, preceded by pine-covered mesas, and cradled within the backdrop of the snow-capped Indian peaks. Boulder offers several options for those looking to improve their wellness, from free meditation classes and forest bathing to a plethora of marijuana stores, spas, and alternative health care facilities. A wide variety of exercise alternatives, such as parker, aerial dance, and animal flow ground-based movement programs, are also featured, along with the entire range of yoga disciplines. Participation in the city's annual Tube to Professional Day is one of the job benefits available to those seeking to balance their work and personal lives. Number 5. San Jose, California. San Jose is a multicultural city with a creative energy. San Jose is a vast metro area that, despite having a distinct core, is equally defined by its outlying communities and significant tech campuses, as it is by the high rises in its business sector. San Jose's location in the tech hub is solidified by its closeness to other Silicon Valley tech giants, such as Google and Mountain View, and Apple and Cupertino. San Jose has one of the highest cost of livings in the country. The tech boom has increased employment, 
But it has also rendered most of the metro region unaffordable for individuals who don't earn high-tech salaries. The cost of living in this area is far greater than it is in the majority of other regions of the nation, and people frequently find themselves spending more than the typical American for basic needs like groceries, utilities, and gas. Number 6. Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina Research technology routes, collegiate rivalries, and other factors make Raleigh-Durham and Chapel Hill well-known. Strong job development and a high standard of living are enticing new inhabitants to this tri-city area, known as the Triangle. The Raleigh and Durham metro areas are home to a sizable population of educated, sociable, youthful individuals. They enjoy going out to eat at neighborhood restaurants, many of which have won awards on the national level and hanging out with friends over craft beer at one of the many microbreweries in the area. Strangers are ready to strike up a nice chat while waiting in line at the grocery store, demonstrating a strong feeling of community. Beautiful open areas, family-friendly museums, and a developing art and music scene, as seen by monthly gallery walks, summer concerts, and music festivals like Hopscotch, are other features of Raleigh-Durham and Chapel Hill. Number 8. Portland, Maine Maine's largest metro area and economic hub features cobblestone streets and ships sheltered within the island-specked waters of Casco Bay. Artful living and farm-to-table dining are not just trends in Portland, they have been a way of life for years. All around Portland, you'll find dozens of local entrepreneurs offering homegrown or homemade products, from mittens to coffee. Locals refer to Portland's downtown and adjacent urban and commercial neighborhoods as the peninsula, while more heavily residential communities extend to the west and north from the back cove, a rounded sea cove formed by the peninsula. Those seeking an island lifestyle, call the metro area's residential islands east of the peninsula home. Though more people discover its charms, Portland is at a crossroads on moving forward. The new development is often met with opposition. While demand for affordable housing is high, an aging rental and housing stock, combined with a tight market on mid-tier units, have left middle-income earners struggling to settle in Portland. Number 9. Sarasota, Florida With its own dynamic arts scene, beachy ambience, and developing food culture, Sarasota has a distinctive character that sets it apart from Florida's neighboring coastal cities. Typically, Sarasota's distinctive appeal attracts people to make it their home, with slightly over 800,000 residents. This metro area is home to a renowned opera house, several rooftop bars, and the well-known Siesta Key Beach. The region is unique because of its contrasts. Although downtown Sarasota has resorts and fine dining, Siesta Key Village or St. Armand Circle offer a more secluded beach atmosphere. Previously derided as a retirement community, Sarasota's reputation is steadily changing as more young professionals start to call the city home. The Rosemary District is one of the city's emerging neighborhoods. Here, unique murals adorn storefronts, and up-to-date condos and hotels coexist with laid-back breakfast cafes. Number 10. San Francisco, California San Francisco has long been known as a beautiful region with historic landmarks, independently run businesses, and trend-sitting individuals. The California metro region, which has been altered and shaped by its communities, has served as the center centerpiece of the LGBT rights struggle, the beginning of the technology era, and the core of the bohemian lifestyle. Today, San Francisco is a complete universe unto itself. From the Mission District's historic streets to the Presidio's grassy hills to the Embarcadero's busy piers, each neighborhood exudes its own personality. The metro area's diverse personality appeals to a wide range of people, including creative business owners, students, and retirees. But the San Francisco metro area is having trouble accommodating its growing population, due to a housing shortage, which has driven up home prices and rental costs dramatically, while also raising the cost of living. Some of the excess has been absorbed by metro areas like Brisbane and Oakland, but the ongoing stream of new technology professionals has kept pressure on the real estate market. San Franciscans share a deep feeling of pride in their city, despite the exorbitant rents. Many locals would tell you they wouldn't want to live anyplace else.